An ex-lover of the former king of Spain has told an appeals court that she has evidence regarding the murder of Princess Diana. According to Karina Zhu Stein, Wittgenstein Stein, who is taking legal action against former king Juan Carlos, intruders left a book about the involvement of the British and US intelligence agencies in the death of Princess Diana in her apartment after an operation was carried out by Spanish intelligence agents at her home in Switzerland. The businesswoman also alleged that she received a follow-up telephone call from an unknown person who made an allusion to the manner in which Princess Diana died. Juan Carlos, who abdicated in 2014, has begun an appeal bid after losing a high court fight with a 57-year-old. Karina is taking legal action against Juan Carlos, seeking damages for personal injury. It also appears she has very incriminating evidence regarding Princess Diana's death and she isn't afraid to use it. According to Zoo Sign, Wittgenstein Sign, Diana's death was carried out as part of a joint operation by British and US intelligence agencies on behalf of the globalist elite. According to court documents from the hearing in London this week, it is further alleged that Ms. Zoo Sign, Wittgenstein Sign, received a follow up telephone call in Switzerland from an unknown person speaking Spanish who informed her that there are many tunnels between Monaco and Nice i.e. an allusion to the manner in which Princess Diana was killed as a result of a car crash in the Pont de l'Arma tunnel in Paris, which the book left by the intruders had identified as being at the hands of intelligence services. These latest claims in the Court of Appeal suggest that European royalty are familiar with the real facts about Princess Diana's murder in Paris in 1997. Karina's claims closely mirror those made in the investigative documentary Unlawful Killing, which has since been banned across the world. Unlawful Killing argues that the British and French authorities covered up uncomfortable facts about the crash, accuses Queen Elizabeth II and Princess Margaret of being gangsters and tiaras, and alleges that Prince Philip was a psychopath in the mold of British serial killer Fred West, who orchestrated the murder of Diana and her lover, Dodi al -Fayed. Lawyers advised the film's producers that unlawful killing would need 87 cuts before the film could be certified for release in the United Kingdom. It was never shown there. It was also never shown in the United States after it proved impossible to gain insurance against possible litigation. This is dangerous material and the elite are desperate to continue covering up its findings. <laughs> When the woman left a note saying, FYI, if I'm dead, here's how it's gonna happen, and then it happens exactly like that, I think someone should pay attention. In my own opinion, there can be no doubt that she was actually murdered. As she used to say to me, I'm trouble to them. I won't go away, I won't go quietly. I think it was an opportunist killing. You've got the ultimate cocktail of danger for the British establishment. It's more than likely you've got to suffer. You have to be hurt. And then you get what you... Get what you want. No, you get what you deserve. In that yeah. tunnel, was yeah. switched off for not working. I think it was murder. Historically, the relationship between the royal family and the courts has been difficult. Mainly because every judge has taken an oath of allegiance to the Queen. The British establishment think that they have got away with murder, but then what's new, they've been getting away with murder for centuries. I don't think many people would want me to be Queen, actually, when I say many people. I mean the establishment that I'm married into. Director Keith Allen screened unlawful killing to invited journalists in Cannes during May 2011. Look, I just have to explain to you that I didn't find this film very difficult to make. The film virtually made itself because of what was being revealed in the inquest, you know. I thought it was important that, that um, the public got to understand in a forensic manner what was happening in, in this inquest. 
And I, I didn't want to make a sensationalist film. I don't think it is a sensationalist film. I think it is a very forensic analysis of a, a process, a British legal process. And I think it reveals certain things that, I'm sorry, don't add up, and I believe that they should be questioned. That's, that's why I made the film, and in, in essence, that's what the film is about. More than 10 years later, and nothing has changed. Things don't add up. However, as George Washington said, truth will always prevail where there is pains taken to bring it to light. Those who are brave enough to stand up to the powers that be and expose their lies must be celebrated and protected because we know the mainstream media will attempt to destroy their credibility and silence them on behalf of the elite. The secrets and lies of the globalist elite must be brought to light for the sake of humanity.